So in this video, I'm going to answer the question, or the very specific question, how do you sort alph alphabetically in pandas? Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to import your pandas data frame. So um, as I have it here, I'll say import pandas and then give it an alias as pd. Uh, next, I'm going to just generate some records um, through a list of lists. So basically, I'm calling this variable a list table or lst underscore table. And I'm setting it equal to a list that contains multiple lists, and the um, the the values within each list are really going to act as records, and so you can kind of view these or think of these as columns and values, right? So I'll have one Apple Watch that is a row of data, and then the next one row, and then the other row, and so on. So now that I have like that value of records, I want to go ahead and convert that to a data frame. So I'm just, I'm going to type pd dot data frame and then I'm going to pass in my list of lists and if you see here I have a data frame and so it provides like the default columns of 0, 1, 2 uh, and that that works but I'll, maybe I want to go ahead and polish that up a little bit so I'll rename the columns and I'll actually set this value uh, or like this data frame here uh, to a variable so I can hold the values in a variable so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to type df columns uh, and I'm going to rename the uh, the actual headers themselves. The first one I'll call it uh, maybe row number or row num. Uh, the next value I'll call it uh, fruit. And the last one just like random word. And that should be good. And then I'll just preview the the values. Okay, there we go. So now I have a data frame saved in the DF variable with the columns row num fruit and rand word and so the question is like how do i sort the um oh, which we call it the 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 values alphabetically right so we know that um these values and the first uh column row num are numeric these are alphanumeric and, and so is the third column the the rand word is also alphanumeric and i can see that by by typing d types so really, um, so the, the first one says integer and then object object, which stands for like pretty much a string. So, um, you know, really there is no, no real difference in sorting, whether you sort an integer or a string. I mean, it's all kind of be a little intuitive. So I'm going to type df sort values and here it auto populates and I'm going to say by and then equal sign. Uh, and I'll say, since I'm just going to sort by one column, uh, I can just put in single quotes and say by the column fruit and I'll go ahead and execute that and if you notice uh, before it was apple orange banana it should be apple banana kiwi orange and so here it is apple banana kiwi orange now this will not save it in place so if I actually look at the um, the values of the data frame again um, that did not change anything and, and the values recorded uh, are really the original apple orange banana kiwi so there's nothing that has been permanently stored. So if I want to, um, you know, set these, or, or I guess, you know, uh, well, yeah, make the val make those the sort permanent, uh, so to speak. Um, I can basically pass another argument and call it in type in place is equal to true. Run that, and so then now that will fix the value of the sort. And now I run it. Now it's apple, banana, kiwi. And if I do that same um you know kind of uh have the, the same sorting excuse me uh to the data frame again but instead i do this by rand word i'm pretty sure that should be uh, a separate sort than that yeah uh, hammer should come first uh, followed by rodeo soda then watch and so I'll, I'll execute that and now i'll look at what df has and so there we go hammer hammer rodeo soda and watch and so like it, it threw this out of whack. So, um, you know, that is your sort. If you want the sort to be, you know, permanent, so to speak, uh, type this in place and, um, and then just kind of sort by the values. If you want it, if you want to take like multiple items into consideration, uh, you can always, uh, type, let's say for example, you know, row num, which is really just going to be governed by, by the first row. But let's just say you want to take multiple columns, uh, and you know you have to maybe duplicate values and you want to sort by two columns just add the two columns in the list and then you can preview the um, the values and then you'll see that it'll it'll discriminate or it'll you know key off of the first column that you sort by and so on so you have row num one two three four 
So that's uh, you know very basic sorting by alphabetic um, characters in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.